We've all heard it, the saying that time is money. Well, that's no lie when it comes to one unique but timely convention held recently at the Daytona Beach Ocean Center. Business Beat reporter Michelle Coates takes us along for this insightful look. I'm Michelle Coates with the Business Beat. Did you know the ancient Chinese told time by the burning of incense? We're at the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors Convention at the Ocean Center. The NAWCC's mission is to advance the art and science of horology, or timekeeping. Professionals and enthusiasts gathered at the Ocean Center for one of the largest horology conventions. It is an organization uh, dedicated strictly to uh, anything that keeps time. So whether it be a sundial, a watch, an hourglass, antique clocks, you know, all of the above, anything related to timekeeping. We spoke with Marty Wilkie, the chairman of the Midwinter Regional Convention of the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors. This is the largest clock and watch show in the world. So we have people that come in from usually 20 or more different countries. The National Association hosted its largest convention, the Midwinter Regional, at the Ocean Center in mid-February. Our association, uh, it was really formed in uh, 1943, and uh, there was a group of uh, watchmakers that got together, and uh, they wanted to start a nonprofit organization that was dedicated strictly to timekeeping. Held at the Ocean Center for the last four years and the upcoming year, the convention brings time enthusiasts and professionals from around the world to the area. Uh, we've got over 12,000 uh, members worldwide, uh, representing over 51 uh, different countries. Uh, we literally fill every hotel down the Atlantic. We are under contract with uh, three of the hotels that we will you know, book solid on. So it's very good for the Daytona area. We've got uh, the convenience of uh, the great facility here that we all love. We've got uh, eating establishments uh, all around the center. So it's just a wonderful venue, and because it is the biggest show, uh, we do have a worldwide uh, attraction. The association also partners with another group, the Worldwide Traders, which sponsors a watch, jewelry, and collectibles trade show preceding the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors Convention. We spoke to Isaac Hanash, president of Worldwide Traders, about the trade show they hosted earlier in the week. We have a lot of the same members. Um, the NAWCC's focus is mainly on the horology aspect of things, whereas our show includes uh, fine jewelry, collectibles, wristwatches is more of the main focus of our show. The partnership at the Plaza, uh, we've been putting our show there uh, on there for 11 years now, uh, consistently. Um, and Daytona Beach is such a you know beautiful beach. It's a great destination. The hotel's right off the ocean, and our members tend to like that. Our show. Um, uh, about 250 dealer tables and we have a crowd of anywhere between 500 and 700 people at any given time in the room. If you're interested in collecting clocks, watches, or other timepieces, then the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors is a good place to learn and meet others who are interested in clocks and watches too. From minutes and seconds to sundials and atomic clocks to the seasons and years, the science of horology covers a lot of territory. From the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar, which cost us 11 days when the American colonies in England switched to it in 1752, the measurement of time is big business. Have you ever used the phrase, be ready in a jiffy? Well, you better watch out because a jiffy is actually one one-hundredth of a second. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Michelle Coates with The Business Beat.